Okay, we want to insert the SD card with the photos. We're going to delete the first and the last photo. And, and now we're going to highlight them, minimize that, and load Carlson Office 2021. Load up our DW underscore culvert.dwg. And there's the four weeks before that we, done, we did. And we're going to load Carlson Photo Capture within Carlson Point Cloud. And we're going to create a new job and put in our new job. Today's date, U.S. feet in Pennsylvania, South 2011. And we're going to put in last week's data so we can see them at the very end, what the differences were between the two weeks. And now we are loading up. We loaded the photos and we're loading the GCP control. And with that, you can see them on the screen and we pick upload. And once we pick create, it actually creates the photos and the ground control is a new job. And now it's uploading those photos. We've sped it up 25 fold, took approximately 25 minutes to upload 79 photos or 0.55 of a gigabyte of photos. With that done, it goes to the next step, which is bundle adjustment. At this point, we could actually exit CPC or Carlson Photo Capture, and this process takes about 40 minutes for it to locate which photos have the control in it so that you can, in the next step, mark or set them with your mouse by picking the location of each control point in each photo that it locates. And that is done during bundle adjustment. So you just have to wait for it to be done. And then when you get that orange triangle there, means bundle adjustment is done and it is time to mark set your GCP ground control point. So I picked the first one. I sped it up to 10 fold. And you have to just patiently pick each one of the points unless there's heavy tree canopy and you can't accurately see the control point and there's about 20 photos per each ground control point in this job we flew at 180 feet um, and you can see up in the middle there we're on gcp number three there's seven ground control points in all and it took approximately 15 minutes to mark the control, but because we're sped up, it will take only one minute and 30 seconds approximately. And that's the fourth. Now we just move to the fifth GCP point, and there's two more that need to be done. We had a little interruption in the internet, and I had to hit the refresh little back arrow key up in the upper left and to get back to where I was, but it doesn't miss a beat. It goes right back to where you were before, and I pick finish when I'm done, and now it comes up and shows you you marked or set 94 ground control points out of 121 photos. That's 23% of the photos were blocked by heavy tree canopy. Pick yes, continue anyways, and then pick apply corrections. And now Carlson Photo Capture is processing. I've sped it up a hundred fold because it approximately took one hour and 20 minutes to complete this step. You do not have to be online or watch this you can exit out of Carlson photo capture quite frankly it's being done on a, the Carlson software server so you can turn off your computer and come back in two or three hours and when you come back you would then download three files in particular but we'll wait for it to process
All right, it's coming to its completion, and now we're ready to download the first LiDAR LES file. And that's downloaded in the bottom left. Now we download the GeoTIFF imagery file, and that's being downloaded. And then last, we download the project PDF report. And now we show go to that folder, and we pick those three files, cut them, go into our data directory, and download them in the weeks subdirectory 0130. And now we want to unzip the imagery into the same directory. I delete the zip file, and now we have the three files there. We highlight them and rename them to the date of the flight, 0131-2020 underscore DW culvert. Now we loaded up the accuracy CPC PDF report, and you can see that all our ground control points are about a tenth or under for X, Y, and Z. And now we're going to close out Carlson Photo Capture because we are complete, completed that step. And it took about two hours, and we're ready to make a new layout in CAD where we're going to load the imagery. So we just uh, now have to go here and turn off all in the current viewport. We have to turn off all those layers between those two arrows. And now we have to draw a polyline that is due east on this twisted screen here, but do it in a layer that it will plot in the new layout. And there it is. You see the line. We go to twist screen and pick it and hit enter for due east. And then we erase the polyline. And we're ready now to import our raster image. Browse to the location of the GeoTIFF file. We pick it, open it, and open again. There it is. Now we go to display order, send back, and we can see our image clip. We type image clip and pick that polyline, that magenta polyline, and we clip the image. And now we're ready to do zoom center to 36.5 and then zoom center and paper space at 20. And now we look at the other weeks data and the only thing we're missing are the contours. So we type MS to switch to model space and then load the point cloud manager. Once the point cloud manager is loaded we do new and we type in the date of the flight and import the LiDAR file from today and pick OK. And that imports the file. We then go to properties. It's about 5 meg and now we do bare earth by grid because we want to remove the structures of the buildings and the trees. And that's what bare earth by grid does. We use 2 hyphen 1 hyphen 1 hyphen P5 properties and a little under 5. So now we double picked on it, bring up the view, twirl it around. You can see the trees are gone, the buildings are gone. We pick the action tab and pick contours because we're going to contour. Those are the contour settings only in PC Advanced. It's not in PC Basic. And notice to the right, those are the settings I recommend. Now we're contouring. Sped up about tenfold. We're doing one foot and five foot index contours. We're typing in intermediate contour layer for CAD. Pick OK. And we're zooming up here just to show the contours in the point cloud. And they look they look good to me. And now we're going to exit Point Cloud Advance, save it first, obviously, and then exit. And there are the contours. And we go to Highlight Index Contours, 5 foot, change the layers to 31, today's date. And then we cross there, hit Enter, and type in 5, Hit enter, enter, and now we have five foot index contours. We isolate that layer and we do contour elevation label. Put in 31 for the date, and we're labeling in the same layer as the index contours. And all you do is slice through them to create the contour labels where you want them, and we're done. We do restore to restore the layers that we isolated. And now the next thing we need to do is turn off those three layers. Uh, 131 2021, the date of the flight, in the other four weeks so that the contours don't look doubled up. And once we're done, it is, we have essentially.
completed bringing in the imagery and creating the contours. And the next thing we do is just put in today's date in the day, Sunday, up in the upper right. And we just review the other four weeks. And now we have today done. And the last thing we're going to do is load up PC Manager and in Point Cloud load up Carlson Photo Capture and launch it, launch it. And now we're going to pick that composite project and pick 131 and go to ortho image view next and got it pick that icon there and drag that down and notice that we have last week's on the left and on the right we have this week or today's uh, flight and we can drag it left and right and kind of see what's new or different between the two weeks or we can drag it with our mouse Okay, we're done, and that completes this example. Thank you.